Hello, hello. Today is our full body dumbbell workout. So if you don't have dumbbells, grab some water bottles. Get something that has equal amount of weight. I have two weights right here, both equal in weight. I have eight pounds. So choose, you can choose heavier and lighter if you want to go between two sets. Um, but we're going to jump right into it. All right, I'll put my timer on. We're going to get warmed up, starting with some jumping jacks or modified. So remember, feet together. This is option one. Yay! We are jumping jacks. I'm going to fix my screen. So you're just moving your arms and you do not have to jump. But if you like to jump, then maybe you add a little jump. All right? Maybe you take a bigger move. Maybe you tap with a bigger move. Guys, you're warming it up, right? Ultimately, that's what's happening. Good. You notice I like to slap my legs every time. I don't know why. I've always done that. Three, two, take your feet out, arms out. Let's do the cross body. Big lift, touching your opposite foot with the opposite hand. Good. Down and out. You're going to get a great stretch. Arms, legs, core, everything. Big stretch. Hurry comes up too because you're doing a big movement. We got a few more seconds here. We're going to do arm circles next. Good. There's three. There's two. Give me one more. And circle your arms. So let's start with little circles forward. Now start to make them a little bigger. Now start to make them a lot bigger. Good. Medium size again. And a little bit smaller. Now reverse it. Little ones. Good. Make it a medium size. Make it a big circle. Make it a medium circle. Make it a little circle. Circle forward. Circle backwards. Circle forward. Now high knees right here. So again, you're marching like you mean it. I want the knees up hip height, or if you want to add a little hop or a jog, but I want those knees up. So it's not just a walk, it's up walk. Is that a word? I don't think so. I made a word up. I make a lot of words up. <laughs> so sorry, not sorry. Get the knees up. Don't trip on those weights. I'm staying over here. Guys, we're gonna go back through that one more time. So we go back to your jacks. Three, two, right here. So remember, tap or jump. Lift your body up from the floor. Good. So keep your abs engaged. I want you to feel light on your feet, especially when you're jumping or stepping. Try not to pound your body into the floor. Just as adds a lot of pressure on your joints. You don't want that. Light and springy. Let's see light and springy, if that's possible. Cross body touches, ready? Right here, and up. Got these heart rates coming up, how is yours? Hopefully yours is too. Good, feel that stretch. I love this in the back of my leg. It's like, oh, thank you. Thank you for doing this. And I'm like, you're welcome. Good, lift. Keep your body in a straight, keep your, try to keep your back in a straight line. Push those feet into the floor. Four, three, two, give me one more. Arm circles, a little, good. A little bigger, a lot bigger. Good, go backwards, bigger, medium, little. Good, now we're gonna go back and forth. Let's do that. Ooh, so many different variations. Now just back, back, back. Back, now forward, 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 back and forward, back, forward, high knees. This is it, team. So you don't want to jog. Get the knees up. Yeah, in fact, to take your hands kind of like hip level, or yeah, right here. Get the knees up, hip level. You can look in a mirror. Now, I don't want you to cross your arms like this. Remember, locomotive at your sides, so your legs stay moving in the same direction. Otherwise, your legs start to do this too. Have you ever noticed that? If you run like this, your legs will do this. Not a good idea. Three, two, breathe. All right, how are we doing? We're gonna start with our first round. We have a circuit to follow. We're gonna go through some moves with these weights. And then we take a little rest and we'll repeat. So grab a little sip of water. We're gonna get this workout done today in a good time, timely manner, all right? So, Grab those weights, team. We're going to start with a front squat. Now, what if you don't have weights? If you have a band, step on your band, not your weights, 
Step on your band, take the band at your shoulders or even your hips, squat and stand. That's option one. If you have a bar, take the bar on your shoulders, squat and stand. I have weights. I will take the weights right here on my shoulders. I'm gonna turn to the side. We're gonna squat and stand 10 times. Are you ready? Let's begin. So we got 10. So you're gonna go as low as you can by keeping your chest up. That's two. Push into the feet to come up. Three and up. Four, now if you can't go as far, that's okay. Five, stop just above your knees. Six, and if you're a little bit more flexible in those hips, seven, you can go lower with your butt. Eight, but keep your knees right over your shoes and your chest up. Give me one more, that's 10. We have ski or swings, weights at your sides. If you don't have weights, you're just gonna swing your arms and swing forward, ready? 20 times, push the butt, swing. Two, swing, three, Good, let your hips do the work. Five, your arms are just gonna swing. Six, because they're attached to your body. Seven, eight, squeeze your butt at the top. Nine, 10 more. This gets your heart rate up, it's like you're skiing. Two, three, those ski poles. Four, five, you can hold water bottles. Six, soup cans. Seven, I don't care. Two more, nine, last one, 10. Now if you need a wall or a chair, Hold one weight. We're gonna take a reverse lunge, I'll show you first. Step in, other leg, step in. Are you ready? We're gonna do one leg at a time. This way if you're standing against a wall, just hold on one hand and then we'll switch. So 10 per this side, one, and up, two. And I like to stay on the same leg, three. It just gives all the pressure in this front leg, four. Push yourself up, five more. So I want you to feel six, the challenge. You bend the knees, seven, and if it feels too uncomfortable, eight, don't go so low, nine, one more. Good, let's switch sides. So grab the wall with your other hand if you need to, or your chair, ready? Let's go, we go 10, and in, two. Boy, my heart rate is up, <laughs> three. I'm trying to talk and breathe at the same time. Four, keep your chest up, five, you want to go slower than me, that's okay. Six, maybe you don't get all 10. That's all right. Seven, got to start somewhere. Eight, two more. Now I do understand that some of us have issues with lunges. If that's the case and that bothers your knees too much, get a step or a stair, something sturdy. Step up and down, up, down. Same leg for 10 and then you switch your other leg, all right? Next, hands over your shoulders. We're gonna go over your head, brace your abs, lock your abs, feet grounded. Your feet are grounded, knees are soft. Push your weights over your head. Three, two, let's go up and down. Two, three, it's like you're trying to touch the sky or the ceiling, four, good, five, you got it, six. Are your abs still locked? Seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, 10. I want you to grab one weight, I'm gonna time us 30 seconds on one leg. You can grab a wall or a chair and we're gonna bring the knee to the elbow, just like so. 30 seconds and we'll switch. Are you ready? Get set, go. So, I don't care how fast you go and I don't even care if you put the weight down, but I want you to squeeze right here, crunch. It's a side crunch. Super fun, right? So this foot is grounded. Good, press, you're getting a good shoulder workout too. Woo, hello, hello, it's burning. Five more seconds, four, and then we're gonna switch sides. Two, and switch, grab your other wall if you need to. Don't be afraid if you have to grow up, hold some for balance. It's not the end of the world, you'll get better. Remember with, pro with consistency, we get progress. If we keep stopping, the body can't get consistent. There's no progress, right? We go backwards again, we go forwards again. Stay on the path. Go slower if you have to. Find your balance if you have to. Three, two, break. All right, we got a little break. We're gonna do it all again. One more round. So the goal is to get up to these rounds so that we're able to do three. Today, we're doing two, and then we're going to the next circuit. And do that one too, and then you're done. So I'm gonna have you rest for about a, uh, 
one minute in between. So if you need to stretch it out, stretch anything out that feels tight, we have about 30 more seconds. So you wanna stretch out your shoulders, stretch out your legs. You can kind of hinge forward and let your body hang, getting a nice release here and then your back. Bend the knees to roll up, grab some water. And we're gonna start again with those squats. Now maybe you have extra weights and those weren't heavy enough. Go up. Maybe they were too heavy. Go down, all right? It's your workout. Are you ready? So let's grab the equipment that you have. Let's squat for 10. Get as low as you can. Be grounded. Three, two, good form. Let's go. Down and up. Two. Now I want you to keep your eyes up. Three. Press through the feet to come up. Four. Exhale as you push up. Inhale down. Exhale up. That's five. Now as you come up, I want you to squeeze right there. Squeeze a glute. Six. Seven. Down. Eight. Down. Last one. We got those skiers. So swing one, two, push your butt back, three, keep your back straight, left leg up, four, see that, five, six, my arms are only swinging, seven, because I'm forcing my hips forward, forward, ten more, push with the hips, two, three, four, keep going, five, six, seven, you could do it, two more, nine, 10, remember if you need that wall, lunges are next. One leg at a time. Or step up on that stair, or that step. Two, three, make sure it's secure though. Four, up, five, good, six. So the thing with lunges, seven, a lot of people say they can't do them, eight. So that's why we have that move, the step up, nine, but the thing about it is it's a single squat of their leg. So if you could do squats, let's go. You should be able to do a lunge. Maybe make it super easy because it's one leg, right? Three, so don't do weights or go lower. Four, like don't go as low. Five, stay higher, I should have said. Six, seven, you're doing good. Two more. Get stronger with every rep. Overhead press. Ready? Let's go. Ten. Two. Three. Say four. I don't know why I told you to say it. Five. <laughs> Six. Seven. Brace those abs. Reach up. Two more. Last one. Good. I'm going to lose one weight. I'm going to do the other. Actually, this one I'm going to show you an option. One knee. Yeah, so you could do this one. Now, if you have bad balance, do one leg and one arm at a time like we did on the other side, and then I'll tell you when to switch. Two options today, because I'm so nice. Ready? Let's go. So this one's kind of like I'm climbing a very wide ladder. <laughs> I gotta pick up one foot, reach my other arm, and if it gets too much, I can put the weights down. Good. Now, if you're on one side, stay with it. I'll tell you when to switch. I'm burning. I'm working. <laughs> Woo! Get ready to switch in three, two, switch sides. If you're on one side. Now, I'm going to say for myself, I'm just going to do this. Because my shoulders feel a little too much. And I want to feel it in my obliques, my waistline, my legs. Smile, it's almost over. Are you crying? <laughs> I feel tears forming. Come on, we have five more seconds. Four, three, two, and rest. Wow, that was good. All right, breathe, pull back. Get some water if you need air. Air is always necessary, oxygen. All right, we're gonna rest for another 45 seconds and then we got our second round. I'm trying not to trip on those weights. So the first move, if you have a bench or a chair, bring it to your spot. I'll show you what we're gonna do. If you don't have a bench or a chair, 
You can follow my lead. One weight. And what we're gonna do is a single row. So if you have a bench or chair, hand on that chair, this foot's back. Otherwise, hand on this thigh. Your abs are braced slightly forward. And one weight in this hand, and you're gonna roll back and stretch down, squeezing this whole muscle egg group right here, your lats. Think of your, your wings. We have wings, like you do right now. So you're gonna squeeze that, pull your abs in, lean forward, straight back. Three, two, let's go. We'll go 10, push down, two. I want you to squeeze that elbow, three, bring that weight to the ribs, four, five, or you're stepping on the band, six, and pulling the handle up, seven, give me three more, eight, so then we'll switch sides, nine, give me one more, 10, switch hands, switch directions, whatever you need to switch, brace your abs in three, two, let's go, one, two, so you're feeling in the back, three, and four, and five, push down, pull six, both directions, seven, don't just let it fall, eight, have integrity, nine, last one, good. We're gonna sit on the floor and we're gonna do something called a Russian twist. So I'm gonna take my feet, heels down, toes up, sit up tall, my knees are bent, my abs are pulled in, I'm gonna round back like a little C-shape. And what I'm gonna do is hold this weight and I'm gonna go to one side. I wanna get as close to the floor as I can, so whether you touch it or just graze the floor and then switch without lifting your body up, all right? So keep your core engaged, chest up, shoulders down, three, two. Let's go, 20 per side. That's one, two, two, three, good, four. So you're gonna feel this in the core, five, six, keep breathing, seven, look over your shoulder, eight, nine. We have 10 more per side, you could do this, 10. But we're gonna stand back up, that's two, three, four, five, Six, the lower you sit back, seven, the harder it'll be. Eight, give me two more. Nine and 10. So to make that hard, you just pick up extra weight or heavier weight. So stand up. We're gonna do a reverse fly. All right, so I want you to ground your feet, sink into those feet, bend the knees, hinge forward. Now your weights are right under your chest. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up and down. Uh, with a slight bend in your elbow, but your arms are extended. So not too heavy weights, kind of like medium, right? 10 times in three, two, let's go. Squeeze your shoulder blades, push down. Two, don't let the weights fall. Three, control on the way down. Four, open up the chest at the top. Good, six, squeeze the shoulder blades. Seven, don't move your lower body. Give me two more. Nine, last one, 10, and done. And we're gonna do push-ups, a couple options. Use a counter, use a step, something with some height will make it a little easier. To come to the floor will make it harder, but let me show you a couple options. So wherever you're at, you can even do this against a wall, okay? Step your feet away, hands wider than your shoulders. And if you're on your feet, I mean on your knees, push your hips forward. So my body looking from my knees to my head, I have a straight line. Keep your toes on the ground, don't let them float. Not good for your posture. Keep the index fingers and thumbs down. Elbows are gonna go back as you bring yourself to the floor. You can tap the floor, try not to rest, or you can come right over the floor and then push back up, squeezing right here. If that's too easy, lift up onto your toes, but keep your body straight. Anytime you need, knees come down, they can even come closer, or you can go to an incline. Are you ready? Get set, let's begin. So we go down, push it away two, squeeze your chest, three, slow, four, up, five more, Woo! six, yes you can, seven, eight, two more times, nine, last one, ten, and done, stretch it back, we're gonna stand up, now if you have light weights, pick them up, I'm gonna try these, but they're not gonna last very long, we're gonna do something called shadow boxing. Feet are grounded, hands up, and we're gonna punch forward. After the 30 second mark, we're gonna twist, look at my back foot pivots to the side, all right? So if your arms start to burn too much, what do you do? Put the weights down. Let's go, right here. Two. I'm gonna keep my feet grounded on the front. 
because I don't need to twist my feet. I'm punching. Now, if you don't have weights or you have lighter weights, you can punch faster. Punch the air like you care. Now bring those abs tight, right? Heart rate's going up. You're doing it. Your arms are getting stronger too. And we're gonna cross it in three seconds. Two, now turn, twist. Yes, these are called crosses. Keep your hands about chest or chin level and then rotate as you're turning in the other direction. My arms are burning. Good, come on, we got 15 more seconds. Now, if you have to put those weights down, pull those bellies in nice and strong. Ha, come on, five more seconds. Four, three, two, and break. Oh, I felt that, all right. Shake it off, we're gonna rest one minute and repeat it one more time, that's it. That's all I got for you, nothing more, nothing less. So give it your all. If that weight wasn't enough or was too much, go ahead and get another round, get another set or a band or something. Now here's my thing. Maybe you can do some, we have 30 more seconds. Maybe you could do some of the reps, but you can't finish it. So you're like, I'll just lighten it up for all of them. No, get your heavier ones, do as many as you can do with good form. And then when you can't do anymore, say you get to eight and you're like, I can't do another rep with this, with this weight, they get the lighter weight and finish your next few reps to get to the 10. That's all you gotta do. You ready? So we're gonna go back to the rows. So grab your weight, pause my timer. I'm gonna start on the other arm. I like change, change is good. So again, grab your chair, your bench, or your thigh. Brace your abs, lean forward. Let's just let this arm hang down. You're gonna feel the pressure of the weight. Now we're gonna pull it back for 10. Ready? Let's begin. 10 and down, two and down, three and down, four, good, five, six, seven, get those abs tight, eight, give me two more, nine and 10. Switch sides, just switch right here. Ready, set, let's begin. 10, two and down, three and down, four, you're doing good, five, hang with me, six, hang down, seven, eight, give me two more, nine, and 10. Have a seat on your floor, grab your weight. So feet are down, heels are down, toes are up, brace your abs, roll back if you have a C in your spine. Ready, let's twist, we're gonna go one. Now if you wanna sit further back, two, try to get your elbow to the floor, three, this will be harder. You don't have to do this. Four. If you're feeling it in your lower back, I want you to come back here. Five, six. Just tap that weight to the floor. Seven. Weight or your elbow. Eight. Crunch the side of the obliques. This is ten. You're halfway. Give me one. Got ten more. Come on. Twelve. Exhale. Thirteen. Look over your shoulder. Fourteen. It gives you a little bit more work that way. Fifteen. Keep your feet grounded. Sixteen or your heels anyway. 17, you could do this, 18, woo, 19, last one, 20, 20, holy goodness. Grab your other weights, stand up, or grab your weights if you know, you're changing them out. Feet under your hips are gonna hinge and work the back of the shoulders. Eyes looking at the floor, three, two, and squeeze and release. Two, now control on the way down, three, and down. Four, look down. Five, don't look up at me once you have it. Six, because it's gonna hurt your neck. Seven, squeeze your shoulder blades. Eight, and release it. Two more, nine, last one, 10. And then push-ups. So wherever you're gonna do your push-ups, you can do them against the wall, guys. You know, maybe you need to change it because you're tired, or you're gonna try a little more challenge. Do what you need to do to finish. And three, two, let's go. Down and one, down and two. Inhale, exhale, three, you got it. That's four, squeeze your chest five more times. Down, six, inhale, seven, inhale, eight, inhale, nine, give me one more, and 10. All right, got the boxer. We're gonna start side on the first one. 
and then we'll go front. Are you ready? Grab your weights, get set. Let's go. So pivot on those feet. Now, as I twist, I'm throwing my punch. Throw the punch, turn the other direction. So I'm working my waistline, working my arms. Heart rate's coming up. Good. So we're gonna finish a few more seconds here. And the last 30 seconds will be straight towards me, okay? Think of punching me. Should be nice. Three, two, one, right here. So now you don't have to go this fast. You can go slow. Take your feet, ground them. Put your abs in. Think of punching somebody right in front of you. Your palm faces down as you extend. You can feel this in the arms. If it's too intense, put the weights down and keep your arms punching against resistance like you're in the water. Four seconds. Three, two, done. That's it, guys. I'm gonna cool you down, stretch you out. Good. A little back slappers right here. Give yourself a big hug. Open and close those arms. You did good. How do you feel? I hope you feel even better, All right? Good, one more. Good. Take your hands behind your back, up in your chest. Ooh, feels good, yeah? All the way even down to my biceps. My biceps felt those uh, punches. Good, take your feet grounded, fingers in front. Big round through your spine, tuck your chin to the chest. Your arms over your head. Take your hands behind your head and pull your elbows wide. Good, feel that stretch across your chest again. All done. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Take one arm out. The timer's gonna ding again, don't worry about it. We're just stretching. And then the other side, arm out. Now you can hold these longer if you need to. I'm just kind of showing you, guiding you through a little bit of a quick stretch. Pull your shoulders back. Two more times, last one. Now roll them forward for four, three, two, last one. Good, I want you to take one heel forward and hinge from your hips. Keep your back straight. You're gonna feel this nice release right in the back of this leg, yes? I know, it feels good, right? Keep your abs locked though. Always practice keeping your abs nice and secure like you have a belt cinched. Brace your abs, roll it up, other direction. Other heel down, toes up, and other hamstring is stretching. And just breathe, keep your back straight. Keep your upper body relaxed. You're not doing anything with the shoulders, so relax them, get them out of your ears. Roll it up, grab your wall or your chair, take one foot behind you, keep your balance. And if you wanna work on your balance, try to do this. Take this arm out or up, sometimes that helps counterbalance the opposite leg that's not on the floor. So you're gonna feel the stretch here. Pull your heel up, tuck your hip under, Feel it in the front of the thigh. Good. And then I have a little bonus for you. Step that foot back, toes tucked under, heel up, bend the knee a little, and then drive the butt under. So you're gonna feel a nice stretch in the hip flexors right here. Do you feel that? I know, my timer is going crazy. Good. You want more? You just dip down a little bit more, tuck, keep bringing that hip forward. Let's go to the other side. You can grab the other wall or the other chair, or just switch hands, switch feet. Use this arm for counterbalance. Pull your heel up, tuck your hip under. Front of the thigh is getting all the stretch. Make sure your abs again grounded so you're not feeling any hyperextension in your lower back. You wanna keep everything strong, secure, good. I ran out of words. <laughs> good, take that toe, tuck it under, heel up, bend the knees, and then just drive your hip under. You're gonna feel it right here. It's like your hips pushing forward. Yes, it's this whole, everything here. Just kinda really needs that release. Good, shake it off. I'm gonna pause this. We're literally done. But what I want you to do guys, take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, just fold over your legs. Let your body hang, grab hold of your opposite elbow with your opposite hand. And just let your upper body just kind of get heavier and heavier, pulling towards the ground. Bend the knees, keep your feet pushed into the floor, and let your arms hang down and roll up to the top slow, like a rag doll. Move it around. 
Good, take one more deep breath in and exhale. Give yourself a big round of applause. Oh, guys, you did great. I'll see you in the next one. You did awesome.